Hey guys, welcome to day 325 of playing Persona 4 Golden in real time. Now we're still waiting for the game for Persona 4 Golden to get caught up with March 19th, so in the meantime, let's continue playing through Persona 4 Dancing All Night and see Kanji's moves. Proceed. Let's get it started now. Alright, let's start! Don't blink! <laughs> Put your heart into it and show them what you got! Alright, get get through with this whole song without blinking now. Didn't notice those notes. They took some interesting liberties with the remixing. Okay, I feel like that was one of the better ones so far. I mean, I missed those notes because I keeping track of the entire width of the screen simultaneously is a bit tough, but not too bad. Another drum solo to finish this out. No complaints, right? Okay. I dance my ass off there. You did it, Kanji. I guess being that lanky has its advantages. To Colleen Lake. Alright, now let's go ahead and continue with the story. Whew. Looks like they got it. It's never a good thing to give up who you are. Moved by Kanji's powerful, or maybe it'd be better to say Kanji like dance, the shadows dissolve into motes of light. No, it's totally fine, really. As long as he's doing this just for now, I have no problems at all. I mean, a star performer's gotta have a bold personality. But, in Kanji's case, I'm worried he might keep on dancing like that after we're done with the midnight stage. I only taught him the steps for the backup dancers, but he totally ditched everything and just danced however he liked. It's fine here, but if he did this at LMB, he'd steal the show for sure. I sigh, remembering now's not the time to be worried about this. He's simply too good. Yeah, I guess Reese is getting a bit jealous. She had to like neg him and be like, "Oh, I guess being lanky has its advantages." Kanji's right. Try all you want, 
We're gonna free every last one of the shadows you're controlling. <laughs> every last one? I don't think so. I have plenty of replacements ready and waiting. For days. Because you poisoned them, they lost the precious bond that they so longed for. But that's fine with me. If they don't want my bond, then they can do whatever they please. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> exactly as I said. There are plenty of others who crave bonds. Can't you feel it? More and more are coming into this world, seeking that special connection. <laughs> Does that mean the Shadow's numbers are increasing? But where are they coming from? Sorry, time's up. No more chatting. Yasumi's performance is about to begin. <laughs> hey, wait, you punk! voice fades away, ignoring Kanji's yelling until there's no trace of it. It's clear, the voice left us behind. Uh, it got away again. How's that voice I mean, I don't know how exactly you capture well, a voice anyway. It, every single time. it said Nozomi's performance was about to start. This isn't good. We need to hurry. Yes, the questions can come later. Let's move ahead. As our surroundings completely change to match the castle-like theme, we see a silhouette ahead of us, wandering around like a lost kid. Someone's over there. Cutie readings are off the charts! That's Nozo-chan! Hey, Nozo-chan! Oh, Risa, are you real? Nozomi, are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Oh, oh, I'm fine, but where am I? Ooh, I can't believe this! Nozo-chan, the Prince Charming of Kanamine Kitchen, right in front of me! Prince Charming? She's a chick, Ted. What, are you blind? Kanji can't help but butt in, seeing Nozomi trembling like a little girl. Well, I can't blame him. People who don't know about Nozomi would probably react the same way Kanji did. Teddy was talking about Nozomi, the idol. Innocent Kanji, you just don't get it, do you? Nozo-chan's big appeal is the forbidden charm of being a handsome boy when she's actually a girl! A, a girl? Pretending to be a boy? Why are you looking at me? No, Nozomi is different from Naoto-kun. It's pretty much a character the agency cooked up for her role in the group. She's really shy. I mean, she gets nervous just talking about herself. First Momo-chan, and now Nozo-chan too? I've suffered a critical hit to my hopes and dreams! The showbiz world really is a cruel place. Can a small town bear like me really reach mega stardom? You ain't in showbiz, Ted. <laughs> Anyhow, we're glad that you're safe. Let's move to a safe location. I and just so we're clear, I'm hardly any good at talking about myself either. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that that's the point that they want to clarify. Point, My apologies. Although no one asked, Naoto-kun suddenly adds a hasty personal comment, then awkwardly falls silent. Really, Naoto-kun, why are you competing against Nozomi? I mean, apparently she did. Oh, no. This voice. Everyone keep your guard up. Kanji-kun, cover Nozomi-san. Got it. Nozomi begins shaking uncontrollably at the sun voice, pitting everyone on guard. Now Tokun calmly directs us, and Kanji moves closer to Nozomi, ready to protect her. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of doing, it's no use. Our bond is stronger than anything. Listen, Nozomi. You want a bond too, don't you? A bond with people who really understand you. A, a bond? <laughs> but... Shut the hell up! Let her think for herself, damn it! Stop trying to decide things for her! Stay out of her business! Oh, but it's for her own good. Huh? Nozomi doesn't need to think. All she has to do is accept us. It's pointless to worry and suffer. After all, 
This is unbelievable. The voice doesn't care at all about how Nozomi feels. The way it speaks so matter-of-factly, I'm more shocked than angry. What kind of crazy talk is that? How ludicrous. It claims to be doing this for Nozomi-san's sake, when in fact it's ignoring her will and forcing its own thoughts onto her. You could never build a relationship from that way. You just don't get it, do you? But I know I'm right. Look, this crowd is here just for Nozomi. How can she not be happy? By now, I know what's coming next. Just as I thought, Black Mist closes in and surrounds us, forming a teeming horde of shadows. Them again? Yikes! There's even more than last time! This doesn't make any sense. Where did it get all these shadows from? Didn't I tell you? There are plenty of others who crave bonds. You really should accept us too, you know? Being yourself will only disappoint people. The eerie song and the shadows dance begins, and that uncomfortably familiar th lethargy settles over us. I feel a shudder run through me at the sensation of someone trying to dominate my will with their own. Feels like a little bit of an unusual way to phrase that, but fair enough. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. This is one song I refuse to dance to. I think Naoto could make it work. Freestyle to the funky groove, sharing the excitement with everyone. Oh yeah! Here you go, Teddy. Yeah. So what if people want you to be a certain way? That doesn't make it right for them to stomp out your true feelings. They might not understand at first, but don't let that stop you from expressing yourself. Correct on all counts. Please stand back. I shall handle this. Nachan's all revved up. Hey, what about my turn? Okay, Naoto kun You're all queued up. So let him have it! If you're afraid of being hurt, you can never reach out to anyone. No one will understand you. How true it is. I could have used that lesson myself not long ago. Now, let the music play. Alright, it looks like Naoto's gonna save us, but we're gonna pick up with that next time. And so for now, it's gonna wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. Alright, today's card is the Four of Swords in the reverse position. So it looks a little ominous, but you know, it being reversed is hopefully a good thing. But let's see what Fate has in store for us today. Although the Four of Swords card in a reading could mean it's time for healing, a reverse card could mean restlessness. You f your heart is willing to relax, but this is not what your mind wants. You feel that you have too much that is depending on you. Following this path is not advised, as it could have effects on your health. You can continue to fight, but sometimes that is ineffectual, and you must have enough awareness of your own strength to decide when to back out. To rest, to retreat, is a means of self-love sometimes, and though you may try to push ahead, that will only make it difficult for you in the long term. Okay, I think this is something good to keep in mind, that sometimes you do need rest, you can't burn yourself out. And while sometimes it seems like things are urgent, and so you want to just like grind it out and be done with it, when you do stuff like that, you kind of set yourself up for failure, that it might work out short term, short term, and hit that deadline, but a lot of goals are long term, and so it's a consistent, gradual thing that you do daily, rather than sprints that you do once a month or so. Because if someone's walking every day, they're going to beat someone that's sprinting no matter how fast, once a week or once a month. So definitely keep in mind to rest as well as continue pursuing what you think is worth pursuing in your life. But it's definitely a balance, just like anything else. But that's going to be another card down and another day done. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey as I do this every day. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.